Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again and greetings from Radia, Romania. And uh, this time around, we're going to be having a look at Ursus, which uh, comes in at 5% uh, alcohol by volume. Now, uh, until I uh, arrived here yesterday, I'd uh, never laid eyes on this particular brew. So, um, yeah, I'm most interested in uh, checking it out. Uh, I've tried a few of their uh, beers um, yesterday and uh, today, but uh, yeah, this one I just uh, grabbed out of the fridge uh, at the nearest convenience store to this hotel about uh, oh, five or ten minutes ago. <laughs> so, uh, still icy cold, so uh, let me uh, crack open the can, the 500ml can, and I'll pour it out into the Finland Lapland glass that uh, I procured while, while, while I was in Helsinki. Okay, can we get a good pour there? Okay. All right. Part of me is wishing that these uh, reviews weren't so impromptu, but I just have to do them. Um, yeah, sort of uh, at the, sp you know, uh, you know uh, at the spare of a moment, uh, you know, when I find the time. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's have a look at the appearance. Well, gee whiz, it's a very um, light sort of straw color, isn't it? Uh, very clear and uh, reasonably effervescent. Uh, yeah, three fingers of uh, bright white frothy head. All right, so onto the aroma. Hmm. Not getting a terrible lot there. A little bit of... Um, Brady mold, a bit of yeast coming through. All right, so um, we've talked about the um, appearance and we've talked about the aroma. So that, that could only mean it's time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So uh, cheers to you all. Let's dive in. Alright, well, up front, I'm getting those um, Brady malts, somewhat subtle. Um, it definitely uh, finishes um, very clean. It's definitely one of those crisp, clean and refreshing uh, pale lagers. Yeah, not, not really any bitterness to speak of with this one. Alright. Time for another gulp. Hmm. All right, well, um, it's holding that taste profile. It definitely um, is very light bodied. Um, I'm not really getting any kind of a distinctive sort of character um, coming through from this one. Yeah, it's, hmm, for lack of a better word, it's just very ordinary. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, I mean, but nothing really stands out uh, about this one. Is it drinkable? Well, yeah, definitely. Um, and c certainly something that you could session at 5%. Um, the price point uh, is <laughs> with the conversion uh, rate between uh, Australian dollars and uh, the Romanian currency. Uh, it's pretty darn good. I think this, to give you an idea, this can, uh, 500 mil can, only end, ends up being, uh, I think, about 65 to 70 cents uh, in Australian dollars. So. That's pretty extraordinary. That's something to smile about. <laughs> All right, let me just top this up. Yeah. All right, well, um, let's have one last gulp and uh, give it a score out of 10, shall we? Hmm. 
all in all, it's it's pretty um, crisp, clean, and inoffensive. But like I said, there's nothing about it that really stands out to me. Um, that sort of distinguishes it from yeah all the other uh, you know pale lagers out there. Um, certainly passable. So uh, I'd probably be inclined to give this a uh, a 6 out of 10 yeah all right so there you go folks a 6 out of 10 for Ursus so uh, give it a go if you uh, come to Romania all right well I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this and uh, I'll probably see you all again real soon for another review until then fare thee well or